come join in. So what you're going to do this afternoon is you are going to spend a little bit of time um, looking for some photos. Um, doesn't have to be photographs of yourself. It doesn't have to be photographs. When I say photographs, it could be photographs from the Internet. I didn't. The picture that is here, the man with the long hair and the plait, um, I got from the Internet. OK, but you need to find a number of good quality photographs. That is the first part of your test test. That's the first part of this afternoon's lesson. OK, that's the first part of this project is to find some good photographs. You should already have. They have to be the head and head and shoulders um, photograph and it has to be good quality. I would advise black and white rather than colour. Um, it just makes it easier when you're doing tone work to have it in black and white than it does to have to try and um, translate it to colour. Um, you should already have Ian McCarthy pictures because you should have those. Um, well, when you say any picture, what do you mean by any picture? It has to be a head and shoulders picture, a face picture, a portrait. You did portraits in year eight. So it should have somebody's nose, eyes, mouth. It needs to be a real person. It can't be a cartoon character. It has to be a person, but it can be any person. All right, we'll go on to look at that in a minute. So um, you can see here that you've got the photograph of the man. Then I looked at Ian MacArthur's work and I looked at this photograph and he decided, right, which bit do I want to do, first of all, in pencil? And I decided I was going to do the face in pencil and I was going to put the Ian MacArthur pattern and things into the hair. All right. So I started by gridding up this photo. Remember, we did the grids when we did the uh, lollipop. So oops, we did this. We did the grid. I will show you the grid again in a minute. But you're going to use the grid method. The reason we use the grid method is that um, it just means that everything's in proportion and it makes it a lot easier for you to draw from. So you've got your Ian MacArthur pictures and you've got a number of photos. You decide which bit you're going to do in black and in pencil and you start with that. Then you can add Ian MacArthur patterns, looking at all Ian MacArthur's work and add them where you want within the hair, for example. OK, that's one example. A second example here. Again, I actually had the photo on the left in black and white. Although it's in colour there, I actually had a black and white um, print out of it. I drew the face. This time I did it in fine liner using dots and lines. Um, and then I looked at Ian MacArthur's colour work and I started adding um, bits of colour. Um, it's entirely up to you whether you want to do the colour version or whether you want to go back and you just want to stick with pencil and fine liner, pencil and biro. You could do fine liner and um, pencil crayon. You can't do fine liner and paint. The reason being is if you do the fine liner first, then the paint will run, make the fine liner run and it will just start looking a mess. So paint, pencil crayon if you want to add colour. Um, so here you go. So what you're going to do, get a good quality um, photo to work from. In this case, a headshot, a portrait. If you can print it out, brilliant. If you can't and you have access to um, an iPhone or an iPad, you can upload a free tool that's called Art Tools. That's what I use, which will grid it up for you without the need to print. Then all you need to do is draw your grid on your piece of paper. Um, but I'm sure there are other, if you look for um, gridding up apps on your Android devices, then I'm sure there are some free ones available. Um, then you're going to get several examples of Ian MacArthur's work that you like. You'll need to see these during the later stages, so you don't need them straight away, but they, you need to see them for inspiration as you're moving on through this. Then you're going to draw out the grid lightly once you've gridded up your image. Now you can use the diagonal method that we used if you've got it printed out. 
um, and you could enlarge it if you wanted to. I wouldn't go any bigger really than A5 because it will just take you too long. A lot of you discovered Ian MacArthur works at A2 or A3, but he spends a number of hours. You're only going to have three or four hours on this, so you don't want to go too big. Um, so you need to think about it. I wouldn't go any bigger. Um, I'll show you my example I'm working on at the moment, and that really, it probably won't even quite go to A4. Um, so you get examples of Ian MacArthur's work that you like, whether it's the black and white work or whether it's the colour work, depending on which you've decided you're going to do. Draw it out lightly. Remember that word lightly? You've got to make sure it's drawn out lightly. Then you're going to start lightly to draw out the face, looking carefully at what's going into each square. Remember, we try and forget what it is and we just look at which direction the line is going in. We did this when we did the um, words, when we were um, enlarging the words, when we were doing pop art. Um, you did this. If you did the, um, you will have done it when you did your portraits in year eight, um, but that you might have used the D. Um, diagonal method there, um, that's fine. It doesn't matter which one you want to use, but they will help you if you try and forget what's there and just look, see what's supposed to be there. Once you've got it lightly drawn out, you need to think about, right, I'm looking at Ian MacArthur's work. Where am I going to start to add his patterns? And I said on that first piece of work, I added them in the hair and I drew his face. On the second piece of work, again, I like working on faces, so I left his hair out there um, and I added the pattern to the background and to his body. Uh, and the piece you can see at the bottom, um, you can see again, I've done the face. So there are your simple steps in what you need to do. What I would like to see um, probably by the end of tomorrow's lesson, you can see there's a photo of Jason Momoa there. Then I've got Ian MacArthur's work. So this bit at the bottom breaks it down step by step. You've got Ian MacArthur's, uh, sorry, Jason Momoa's photo. Then you've got um, some images of Ian MacArthur's work. Then you can see that's my drawing at the stage where I was on stage four and I drawn out the face and the head and everything else, um, looking carefully at once went into each square. And then once I've got that, I start to think about um, where I was going to add tone and I added it to the face. So you've got a photograph there where, where I've added it to the face. And then you've got a photograph of um, the work. So I then decided to add colour to the hair. All right. So you can see that it's in MacArthur influenced. And I've done it um, in black and white. So. Um, let me just go back to, right, so, um, can you now see my, um, my screen? Okay. So, can you see um, Jason Momoa in colours. Yeah. OK, so um, just so that you can see the sort of size of the piece of work that I'm talking about. The, um, the A4 one that I had. Um, just bear with me. Oops. OK, so the A4 one that I had, that um, that's the black and white one that I showed you right at the beginning. You can see the face there and then I've added. So that one is A4. But then the little examples, they're obviously half the size of A5 because this pointillism takes a very long time to do. Um, therefore, I didn't make it very big. All right. Um, the Jason Momoa one there, that's the one that's at the bottom of the PowerPoint presentation. Um, and you can see the size. So size is not important. 
Um, what's really important is that it's good quality drawing. It's not how quick you can do it. If you haven't got a fine liner, that's fine. You can use a biro. OK. Um, A4 is fine. As I say, that one is A4. The one I'm currently working on at the moment is A4. All right. So you can see there, I've got the um, Jason Momoa. And I am working on that. All right. So photo, it's really important you get a photo. Then it's really important you look at the images you've got of Ian MacArthur's work. As I say, if you've got the photo and you've got it printed out, you need to grid it up. Um, remember the gridding methods that we've used. Um, and then you need to um, start to think, right, where am I going to add the, the where am I not going to make it Ian MacArthur? I'm just going to make it look um, tonally correct. How many images do you need? Really, you only need one good image to work from. But um, you might want to get a couple and see how they work out. I don't need to print them for you, Aaron. That's what I've said. What I said is you can work from them if you look. So um, just bear with me. So if you look on our teams. Go back to year 10. If you look in the class notebook of year 10, you now all see my team screen. Yeah, great. OK, so you will see here if you go into class notebook. And then you go on to the bookshelf and you click on artist research in the artist research. There's a page called Ian MacArthur Development. So you click on that. Now, in that Ian MacArthur Development, you will find I have put the PowerPoint that I've just shown you. But I have also put three photos. So there's one of Jason Momoa. There's one of Johnny Depp. And there's one of Robin Williams. If I hadn't got a printer, I would, I would literally just have that on my screen. And I would be drawing a one, two, three, four, five, six by one. I think it's six by six, a six by six grid out. And I would start working from the screen. All right. Does that make sense? So if you can't print or you can't grid up or you can't get the app, you will find. You can't find the PowerPoint. Just bear with me, it's updated, it's syncing at the moment, so it should be there in a second. Um, have you been on the class notebook, Manar Hill? Oh, sync's done, so it should be there. So go to the class notebook, go to the bookshelf. If you go into Teams, if you go into our, your team, Year 10 Art, oh, Bear with me, I think it's thrown a few people out. Oh, there we go. Um, if you go into um, Teams, you go into the class notebook. Then you go into the little books. You go into artist research. Ian, oh, I don't know why I'm moving that. Ian MacArthur Development. And you will see there is the PowerPoint that I have just shown you. All right. Underneath the PowerPoint are three photographs, good quality portraits already gridded up that you might. You can see that is the one that I was working on. OK. So this afternoon's work, you're going to find your picture, grid it up. And lightly draw it out. That is probably as far as you will get this afternoon. Tomorrow, I'll go over it again. But by the end of tomorrow's lesson, I want to see the work 
that you this work, this actual Ian MacArthur work that you're working on. All right. By the end of today, you need to have uploaded your Ian MacArthur research. So Ian MacArthur research uploaded. Find your picture, grid it up, lightly drawn it out. That's what you need to do this afternoon. Is anyone not understanding that? Anyone got any questions about that this afternoon? Yes, you can do Zane Malik. You can do anybody as long as it is a good quality picture. 